23rd August 2023, our nation makes history. Yes, the Chandrayaan-3 has finally completed the soft landing on the lunar surface. Yes, it's a moment of pride, extreme joy for all of us. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, India. It's been a journey of 14 days. Yes, the uh, Chandrayaan-3 was launched on 14th of July 2023. And you must be aware that it is an unmanned mission. Yes, there is no human passenger or crew on it. Now, with this successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, India becomes the fourth only country to have successfully landed on the moon after the Soviet nation, United States and the China. But not only that, it is the first nation, yes, it is the very first nation to have landed on the polar region. Yes, the Chandrayaan-3, what makes it very important and historic that the landing is done on the south pole of the moon. And why it is important about this, what is important about the south pole of the moon? Because yes, there is the possibility of ice there. And if yes, if that is possible, it will further suggest the possibility of getting water, oxygen and even fuel on the moon. Okay. And also guys, you know, there are quite some challenges also when uh, on especially lending to the polar regions of the moon, specifically because, you know, the temperatures can go below even 230 degrees Celsius, minus 230 degrees Celsius. Also guys, the very important point is the terrains are very rough and also most of the areas there are in darkness because the sun never shines there. Now, after having success successfully landed, the Chandrayaan-3 is expected to remain there for a period of approximately two weeks and there it will do a set of several experiments including mostly the spectrometer analysis of the lunar surface to find out the mineral composition and etc. So guys, I hope all are happy, you know, celebrating, uh, you know, everybody was, you know, most of the uh, people was uh, were watching the uh, landing of the Chandrayaan-3 and it was even a history 8 million uh, people watching live on the YouTube. So guys, congratulations once again. And uh, especially for engineers, for gate aspirants also, there is always a message that yes, this should always motivate you kid, that yes, you have to be really technical strong so that someday, some point of time, you see somebody yourself as a scientist, selected as scientist in the organization, ISRO because it's the victory of India, it's the victory of team ISRO. Congratulations once again everyone and stay motivated. Maybe someday, sometime you are working with the team ISRO as a scientist. Thank you.